Hello everyone, my name is Sanjay and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can clone $1,000 websites using a no-code platform, okay? The best thing about this strategy is that you don't need to know any coding, you can just do it with prompts, and it actually accepts URLs, okay? So let's just dive right in. The no-code platform that I'm gonna to use to build or clone any website is lovable.dev. And if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I've actually been on Lovable before. I absolutely love it, I think it's a phenomenal tool, and I can't rate it highly enough, okay? so. For this example, I'm gonna clone Upwork. Okay, so if you haven't seen Upwork, it's basically just a freelancer website that you can sign up to. You can, you know, bid, pitch for jobs as a freelancer, or if you're a client looking for freelancers, you can, you know, basically upload job briefs and find freelancers and get them to apply for your for your jobs. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and I'm gonna go back into Lovable.dev, and here I'm gonna paste a prompt that I've written out already. Okay, and I'm gonna discuss exactly why I've done it in this format. So. The first thing I want to do is I want to clone Upwork.com, but do the following, okay? Now, Lovable and platforms like Bolt, uh, V0, I think Cursor as well, they can actually take a URL, right? And you can actually clone it with the URL, okay? Because it has search capabilities. It can actually go out there into the internet and crawl websites, okay? So I've put into the prompt, I want to clone Upwork.com, but do the following. Number one, add a clickable gig page on the homepage, right? I just want to give it some depth, right? Because these apps can build anything you want. Second thing I want to do is add headers and footers onto every page, because if you go back into Upwork, you'll see you've got headers and you've got footers, a lot of footers on here, okay? It's obviously, you know, quite substantial because Upwork is probably the biggest freelancer platform in the world. So you wanna basically add headers and footers to make it look like a real website. And then three, you wanna add placeholder images on the gig page and on the homepage, okay? So I just wanna give it some more depth, give it some padding. So let's just send that over and see how Lovable builds this. Okay, so here's the website, right? And it has to be called Upwork Clone. You can change this, you can put prompt in there and call it whatever you want. But as a kind of beginner shell site, it's not bad, right? You can build on this, you know, update prompts and give it some more information, right? Now, there are obviously, you can edit, right? So you can change the background, you can change the images if you want, and you can do, you know, ho hover animations on cards and buttons, and you can make it as personalized and as customized as you want, right? So it's, it's built it in, Upwork style right now. What what I love about this is that if you go into the editor, so let's say we wanted to change the title from Upwork clone to, I don't know, let's call it Freelancer X. Okay, and you can take elements from Upwork. So if you wanted to use a specific color, you can actually take a color picker. You can get a color picker online, find out what color this is, or you can even take a screenshot of this, okay? So if I wanted to build out my website with the same font or similar fonts and the same color scheme, I can actually do that. Right? because I can take a screenshot and I can upload it inside of Lovable because I can ask ask it to attach the, the screenshot, okay? So now it's called Freelancer X and let's just take a screenshot of this. I'm just gonna save this and then go back into Lovable and then I'm gonna attach it here. And then the prompt is gonna be change the font and color scheme to. So now we're gonna tell Lovable, basically we wanna use this font and this color scheme. As you can see here, it's updated the CSS files, the index.html file, and every other dependencies for this particular change. And yeah, you can see here, the font is very similar, color scheme is the same, and yeah, I mean, you can, you can change this, you can make it as granular as, as you want right now. One thing I have noticed is the, the footer, so change the footer title to Freelancer X and update the tutorial 2025, because that's when I'm recording this video. You can see that it's saying 2024, which is, incorrect so i'm just gonna wait for that to update there you go it's actually updated to 2025 freelancer x and you can have a lot of fun with this right you can take images you can actually take screenshots of particular images of the website so let's say if you wanted a you can actually take a screenshot of this and upload it into lovable and basically tell it you know go out there find me something similar to this image right find, find me a stock image that's very similar to this image and lovable can do that right and you can have a lot of fun with this okay and what i do love about Lovable.dev is that they have a connection to Superbase. Okay, so you can actually host all of this. You can host a website on their Superbase servers, right? You can connect it up. And obviously you need the, the PayPal for that, but you could actually publish this. Let's deploy that. Let's see what it looks like. So the site is published. This is what it looks like. This is the published website, right? Now, obviously this is just a very brief kind of draft. You would, if you're building something similar to Upwork or like a freelancer website, you'd spend, you think about the way the, the gigs work, but the purpose of this video is to show you what's possible with a no-code platform like Lovable because this is a skill that you can monetize, 
right? You can monetize building websites and you don't have to spend that much time building these, right? You can actually just clone existing websites, plug it in, add a few prompts and there you go. You've got your own very own system where you can develop as many websites as quickly as possible, right? And there are like websites out there that you know you can pitch work to for freelancers who are designers or coders and you can you know publish this these websites on them okay and you can earn an income for this thank you for watching this video leave me a comment below like the video share the video and most importantly please 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 subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video thanks for your time today have a good day